Credit to the rightful owner of the video. Osamas, officially the city of Osamas, Dak Bayan Sa Osamas, Lungsad ng Osamas, is a third-class component city in the province of Misamis Occidental, Philippines. According to the 2020 census, it has a population of 140,334 people. Although occasionally spelled as Osamas in official sources like Comolac, it is spelled as Osamas in Republic Act No. 321, the Osamas City Charter Act. In 2005, City Resolution 25105 was passed to reiterate that it is officially spelled Osamas, not Osamas. The city of Osamas grew out of an old Spanish town called Misamis, a name believed to have been derived from the Subanan word, Kayamis, a variety of coconut. Other unverified historical sources, however, suggest that the name Misamis came from Misa, after the Catholic Mass. The old Spanish town grew in size due to the nearby Spanish garrison stationed at the stone fort named Fuerte de la Concepción del Triunfo. The fort was constructed some time in 1756 in order to attempt to combat the pirate activities originating in the nearby Lanao area. In 1850, the town of Misamis became the capital of the district of Misamis. In October 1942, Wendell Fertig established the command headquarters of the growing guerrilla resistance to the Japanese occupation of Mindanao in the Spanish fort in the city. His headquarters was abandoned June 26, 1943, due to a large Japanese attack. Until the end of the war, the Japanese occupied this fort. During the Japanese occupation of Misamis in World War II, the Kata was garrisoned by a contingent of Japanese who dug foxholes near or under the walls. This undermining of walls later led to the destruction of the Southwest Bastion in the earthquake of 1955. After the war, Misamis became a chartered city by virtue of Republic Act 321 on July 16, 1948. This also renamed Misamis to Ozamis after a hero Jose Ozamis who hailed from the province of Misamis Occidental and who at one time also served as its governor and congressional representative of the lone district of Misamis Occidental, a delegate to the 1935 Constitutional Convention that resulted in the creation of the 1935 Constitution for the Philippine Commonwealth Government. In 1941, Jose Ozamis was elected to the Philippine Senate. Geography Ozamiz is nearby the Zamboanga del Sur and Zamboanga del Norte provinces, while Lanao del Norte is across the bay. Ozamiz is 52 kilometers 32 miles, from Maria Cristina Falls, the main source of hydroelectric power in Mindanao. Retail Due to the location of the city, Ozamiz has several notable shopping centers within its city center. 1. Gaisano Capital Mall is the largest mall in the city with the expansion of a new South Wing Mall in 2011. 2. Novo also expanded and constructed there a larger structure with a hotel named Asia Novotel in 2010. 3. Unitop Ozamis also expanded their building in 2012 in front of the City Public Mall. 4. City Public Mall, formerly known as City Public Market, is the biggest public establishment in northwestern Mindanao. It is owned and managed by the Ozamis government and was opened on May 28, 2009. 5. Robinson Supermarket opened to the public on November 30, 2012. 6. Pure Gold Ozamis opened in the year 2019 with the first ever 7-Eleven serving the developing city. Notable events and festivals. Ozamiz's Charter Day Anniversary, the Feast of Our Lady of Triumph of the Cross at Kata Shrine, and the Subayan Keg Subanan Festival are celebrated on July 16. During feasts and holidays, firework displays are held nearby the Kata Shrine. Every December 8, the Feast of Our Lady of Immaculate Conception is celebrated. The Senior Santo Nino Fluvial Parade, held at Pangul Bay, is celebrated every fourth Sunday of January. Tourism. Fuerte de la Concepción e del Triunfo, also known as Cata Shrine, is a fort built in 1756 by Father José Ducos to serve as a Spanish outpost in the area. A special chapel was built inside the walls of the fort and an image of the Virgin of the Immaculate Conception was enshrined in the chapel. 
An image of the Virgin Mary, Nuestra Señora de la Immaculada Concepción y del Triunfo de la Cruz de Migpangi, was carved on the outside wall of the fort facing the sea. The image is believed to be miraculously growing and has been an object of pilgrimage. In 2022, the fort was renovated and restored to its original design. As of now, Cata is undergoing development with construction of a boulevard with a Spanish galleon replica, a park, a mini commercial complex for food stalls, ticketing offices, restos, cafes and souvenir shops. Bukagan Hill has a view of the city, Pangul Bay, and the provinces of Lanao del Norte and Zamboanga del Sur. There are four great bells at the top of Bukagan Hill. The bells were named after St. Peter, St. Marine, St. Joseph, and St. Michael, and were originally purchased by Bishop Patrick Cronin, DD for the Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception. However, the bells weigh seven tons and were found to be too heavy and too large for the cathedral's belfry. The people felt that it was very expensive to construct a special belfry for them considering that a lot of fundraising effort was made for the building of the cathedral and the installing of the pipe organ. It was through the efforts of then city mayor Fernando T. Bernad that the bells were finally given a place at the Bukagan Hill. With the help of Jesus Y. Varela, the huge bells were installed in Bukagan Hill Bells and officially inaugurated on July 16, 1948. Naomi's Botanical Garden and Tourists Inn sits on a 12-hectare property of local and imported tropical flowers, plants and fruit seedlings. There are fully air-conditioned private rooms, function halls, tennis court, golf range, ceramics factory, pottery and a bakery inside this sprawling garden. Mount Malindang Golf and Country Club is a pre-war army facility converted into a golf course located in Bagake at the foot of Mount Malindang. The Immaculate Conception Pipe Organ, found in the choir loft of the Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, is the only existing pipe organ in Mindanao and one among the few throughout the country. An Irish Columban priest, Father Sean Lavery, who was in charge of the liturgical and musical development in the Immaculate Conception Cathedral realized the need for an organ. Funds were raised through donations and a musical extravaganza organized by the parish raised enough money to buy the pipe organ. Father Lavery asked the help of a German priest, Father Hermann Schablitzky SVD, who came to Ozemis to get the specification needed to guide the organ builders in Germany. Father Schablitzky himself, assisted by one carpenter and one electrician, assembled the organ in six weeks and it was completed on May 31, 1967. It was inaugurated on July 16, 1967, the feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Metropolitan Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception was built from the ruins of a church destroyed in an earthquake in 1955. It was one of the early designs of national artist for architecture Leandro Loxin. His simple style of squares, circles, and half-circles are evident in the external and internal designs of the church. The facade was later changed. Transportation. Air. Ozemi's Airport, also known as Labo Airport, was reopened July 5, 2007, nine years after Philippine Airlines, PAL, stopped their operations using Fokker 50 and Sunriser planes. This had caused the airport's closure due to its short runway, which cannot accommodate jet planes. Air Philippines, a subsidiary airline of PAL, was the first airline that used Ninoy Aquino International Airport in Manila, using a B737-200, which is also the first jet plane to land at the airport. PAL Express, another PAL subsidiary, then made direct flights to Mactan Cebu International Airport again using their Bombardier Q400. PAL's competitor, Cebu Pacific Air, later opened their service in Ozamis with its first flight to Cebu on November 10, 2008, using their brand new ATR 72-500. With high demand of passengers, cargo and tourist arrivals, Cebu Pacific then launched its Manila route with their Airbus 319, while PAL took over Air Philippine service to Manila using the Airbus 319 last June 16, 2009. Please like, share,
and subscribe to my channel. MD Larej PH.